Hey everybody, welcome back to Tea Time. This week I'm going to be talking about Brimstone Coven. Uh, this is my friend's band from the uh, Ohio Valley, Pittsburgh area. Uh, the three piece dark occult rock and roll um, consists of my buddy Corey on guitar and vocals, my other buddy Andrew on bass and vocals, and their drummer Dave. If you like Sabbath style stuff, heavy, dark, rock and roll, metal. These guys are so good. Um, I got a couple of shirts from them from when they've come down through town and um, so I'm gonna get into those and they got some records and, and I'll tell you about their records. Corey I've known a long time. He was in a band called Once Again uh, that when I was in Law Biting Citizens we did a lot of shows with those guys back in the day. I'll get into that later. But uh, let's get to it. This first shirt that I have, I think this was right from around the time that they first started playing. Um, I, this is a great shirt. I love the screen printing on it. It's very soft. Um, I can't remember the name of the process used uh, for it right now. This shirt came out around the time when they put out their first record. I believe it was just Brimstone Coven uh, when they first signed with Metal Blade. And then they also put out like a little mini disc CD with like three songs on it which I have which is really cool I'll put a picture up. Uh, this next shirt I got this was from the release of their second album and I believe the second album they did a uh, self-release but this was from their, their summer tour from 2018 uh, the album uh, What Was and What Shall Be. Their, their graphics are really really great. Um, busy as I'll, I'll get out, but I like the purple and the black, I think that's cool. And then on the back of it, of course we have the tour dates for the spring and the summer and everywhere that they hit. And I got this one when they came down to Pleasant Street, uh, like I do most, where most of my shirts come from. Um, then I've got another one when they did their 2019 tour, they came back through. I can't remember if this was when they had put out their next album or not, but this is another awesome shirt. Um, I like, like I said, they, they use that, it's not distressed, I can't think of the name of the term, but I like the way that they do the printing and they're all very soft and uh, and they're, they're great shows and then here's obviously the tour dates on the back of this one. They put out uh, some good shirts. They put out some great music. They've got four full-length albums out. Uh, they got the Brimstone Coven on Metal Blade. Then they did Black Magic, was uh, the next record they did on Metal Blade. Then they put out What Was and What Shall Be. I believe they self-released that one um, after they left Metal Blade. The last one that I know that they put out was uh, The Woes of Immortal Earth. Again, very, very good stuff. It's got like a 70s sound. They sound live just like they do on the records, which impresses the hell out of me. Um, Corey and Andrew's vocals are both very soulful and they play very well over the guitars, which are heavy, but they're not like pummeling in your face heavy. Um, the last time I saw these guys play was with crowbars, but like all the bands were, you know, huge, loud metal bands. And when Brimstone came on, it was nice to hear them because it was a quieter sound, but it was still heavy and they sounded just like their records, just very 70s, but very in your face and, and to put it all out there. But like I said, Corey was in a band called Once Again, which was like a, which was a punk band that we used to do a lot of shows with. Andrew is in another band, I want to say the name is Iron Flame, I could be wrong, I could be right. These, these were really, are really great guys, they got a show coming up um, this month on the 25th down at 123 Pleasant Street with my band Ghost Road, so there's a shameless uh, self-promotion there, so if you can make it down, I believe when this airs, that will be uh, this coming weekend. Please check them out. You can find them on Bandcamp. You can find them on YouTube. Very, very good stuff. Uh, like I said, just good, dark rock and roll. If you're into the Sabbath or Deep Purple or whatever, those kind of bands, 
you really, really dig what they've got going on. So that's Brimstone Coven. Those are my friends. And I hope to see you at the show. I hope you check out what they've got going on. Um, I'm pointing like I have a thing, but I actually have the records laid out in front of me so I can remember what's uh, what's on my mind here. Um, but no, check out Brimstone Coven. They're, they're, they're a really good band and uh, some great guys and a lot of fun. So until next week, I'll catch you later on with another Tea Time. Thanks, guys. I'll see you. Yeah.